Hey guys, it's Gar here. <clears throat> Sorry that I haven't been recording lately. I've been under uh, a lot of stress, a lot of, a lot of things going on. So, I do apologize. I haven't been able to upload anything in a while. So let's, uh, let's get into this. This is Choice of the Dragon. You almighty dragon. You must, uh, I guess... I've played this a few times. It's really hard to explain, I guess. It's basically just questions. So you just answer a bunch of questions and... You got stats, you got all these choices, and you're the bird to gear to be. So you just gotta guess how, I mean, depending on how you choose things, that's that's how you're gonna end up. You can either die, become a god, become a king, I guess, a king of people? What are you king of if you're a dragon? I guess you can be king of anything. Not really sure on that. Hmm. But anyways... Let us begin with this challenge. A knight charges up the slope at you. His horse pounds at the ground, carrying the heavily armored warrior as your child's doll. The knight sets his lance to attack you. How do you defend yourself, almighty dragon? Hmm, let us see what we do here. I can either knock him down with my wings. Oh, wait, no. I can take to the air, slap him. Tear him to pieces, that sounds terrible. I say we fly into the air. I'll leap into the air, defiantly avoiding the knight's thrust. Now that you are in the air, he hardly poses any threat at all. Now that he is over posed over you wonder He has ever posed much of you one bleh, 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 I can't read today. Jeez Louise my god Ugh. You circle back and knock him off at his horse with a swipe of your claw. Do you finish him off, you vicious dragon? Hmm. Now, that's the thing with this game. If you're feared and scary, hmm, people won't really want to piss you off. It's kind of the thing. I'm thinking we'd be a dick dragon this this round. Maybe the next round we become a really nice dragon. So let's see. Of course, how dare you attack me? Galthorion Siku How the hell do you say some of these names? You could just crush him in a single bite. I showed him. You know it's going to get annoying that he calling you great and mighty dragon. What is your name? These names are terrible. Ooh, hmm. Scary dragon name. Ooh, no, that'd be terrible. We'll just call him Hmm. Hmm. I don't actually know a good dragon name at the top of my head. Huh. I'll just call him Smaug. 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 Smaug? How do you say it? Hmm. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll just tell him to piss off for now. Oh, fine. I guess he's making us do it. Hmm. We should be a male dragon. As you think about it, the knight's attack was probably inevitable. After all, you did just kidnap the princess right off of her tower. Although, isn't it a little sexist to always kidnap a princess? Hmm, and I think since we're being a dick, dragon, I say we say this. You dare question my actions, boy. No, no, of, of course not. I just wanted to, I mean, oh, what am I trying to say is, let's just move on. Anyways. As you ripped the roof off her tower, the lights glistened off your, uh... What would you like to specify the color of your hide? I wasn't sure which color to put in that description. Ooh, all love these lovely colors. Since we called them smog, we might as well go with red. No. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Limbs. Smog only have two legs, but... Why don't they have two? Why do I want a wyvern dragon? Those guys are awesome. Yeah, I guess we'll go with four. A rigid head. Leathery wings. Perfect. Now let's see our stats real quick. This is our stats. Hmm. Well, not very fast, I'll say that much. But we are strong. Brutality makes you strong. Cunning is your intelligence. Disdain? Uh, don't ask. I do not know. Infamy. 
That depends on how scary you are. If you are terrifying and fierce, a dragon whose name makes you cringe at just the sight of it. The sound of his name makes you cry and hide in the shadows, hoping not to be found. As you kidnapped the princess, you beat your leathery red wings off and flew off into the night as she clutched tightly to your rigid scalp to avoid plummeting to her doom. What are you planning to do with the princess anyways? Hmm. Like I said, we're going for a dick move. We'll keep her, and then we'll eat her. Mmm. It must be the diet. In the event you have a delightful dinner of roast princess. Mmm. This would be a good time to talk a little more about your personality. All dragons can be described in terms of a handful of characteristics, each in opposed bear, brutality and fitness. Finesse, I mean. Cunning and honor, disdain and vigilance. Are you notable for your brutality or your finesse? Uh, let's see. We are strong and cruel. We are intelligent and we like to cause tricks on those. Hmm. Do you disdain threats and insults that are beneath you? Are you vigilant against any of your sight or suggestion? Hmm. I'll do this one. Now we are. Oh god, I'm choking on a cheese ball. Ugh. Hell, we are dying. Oh god, help me. Blech. Now we are going to view some flashbacks to the days of Wormling. Wouldn't it be a hatchling? Wouldn't the wormling, wouldn't the wormling like be a like a wyvern baby? Wouldn't you call that a wormling? Hmm. I think I'll small go fire drake, but whatever. I'm not a super dragon side this person. As a young hatchling, there we go again. They go from wormling to hatchling. Make up your mind. As a young hatchling, you lived with your mother in a cave high up on a mountain. Your mother had a vast horde of treasure and varied hunting rage. Some of your siblings chose to spend much of the time reading the real case of books, I'm just calling books, and scrolls your mother had collected. Other siblings spent their time hunting dangerous game and brawling with each other. What did you prefer? Of course, if we're being a dick dragon, we're not reading books. We're not, mm, yes, look at these books. Oh my god, did you see that picture right there about this deer? Mm hmm. No, we're not being dicks, we go hunting. You developed your muscles as you glorified in combat, and at the end, and the, blah, 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 and the kill at the end of the hunt. Your balls begin when your siblings are also taught you the basics of honor. Brutality and honor increased. Cha ching! And as you had reached maturity, you began to threaten your mother's dominance over her territory. Before you could badly pass her in direct confrontation, you just threw your lazy ass out of her lair. <laughs> I added that, that sounded better. And drove you from the lands in which you grew up. What a bitch. Leaving you to fend for yourself. You stupid bastard. Or, I guess it works either way for any gender. Do you seek revenge and turning some humans in her land against her? Or do you consider that pity of revenge beneath you? Hmm. We're going to revenge, bitch. You're unable to th truly threaten her, but you're forced to, your mother to spend her time suppressing the revolts of human villages. What? What? What are humans literally to a dragon? They're like mosquitoes, pretty much, to them. We're just annoying. Oh, God. Ay, ay, ay. Things like this do just drive me mad. I don't know, eh? The dead villagers also provide her with no tribute. Uh -huh. Reducing the increase... Reducing the increase of her horde. Okay, that was... I was reading that right. It didn't sound right. Perhaps someone more direct would be better as revenge. Still a real gain nonetheless. Scroll... After a, weeks of, after a week of flight, you came across a tiny halfling traveling through the desert. Even from afar, your keen eyes detected a glint of gold and sparkle of magic. This halfling has some sort of magical golden shield stuck to his tiny back. Okay. Why 
Why a golden magic shield? Okay, metal in a hot desert. One, it's probably heavy, so he's dying slowly. Two, he's probably cooking himself. So you probably didn't see him? You probably smelt his flesh of cooking on that gold magic plate, pretty much. The halfling was far from civilization. And when would all would all be 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 and would almost surely die soon of thirst and starvation. For a moment he seemed to be protected by the power of the shield. Do you kill him on the spot, ignoring the magical protections, or do you hover nearby and wait for the halfling to die? I killed the bastard on the spot. It wasn't easy the shield protected him from the fire and helped him invade your attacks. Eventually you had to swallow him whole and cough up the shield. That worked, dick. One of your elder clutchmates was over bearing brute name. Axel Mies, I'm calling Axel. Mm hmm. Axel left the tournament, the others always seizing, seeking the size what did not belong. Oh, seize what did not belong to him. Smaug, he said with a mad sitting grin. Give me that golden shield or I'll beat you over to the. With an inch of your life. Hmm. No. I would say. Maybe the accents are the best things that I'm doing, but it's better than nothing. I dueled the bastard to win my shield. Yeah. You fought your hardest, but Axel was a bit strong. What an ass. He pinned you to you to the ground and pried the shield out of your claw, then crushed the shield in his draw. Wait a minute. I know gold's a soft metal, but. Magical shield. Protected the dude from fire. Had to swallow him to get it. How do you break the shield in your jaws? <laughs> what? Wasting the magical energies imbued with it and spat it at your feet. I laughed in the great war as they flew away. That bastard's gonna die. We're killing him. I don't care. Wow, we are strong, I guess. Or... Yeah, probably say strong. I think got a good little horde going. Nice. We're quite smart. Let's do this begin our adventure. It's a dragon named Smaug. You spend several weeks winging your way across the land. Life as a traveling dragon has much to recommend it. The freedom of the air, the thrill of the hunt, and plentiful sightseeing opportunities. On one particular night, Sleeping peacefully under the stars, you awake to find yourself under attack. A giant elder dragon towers before you, whipping you hard with his tail. It must be at least four times your size. Whelp, you dare sleep on my lands. Now, we're gonna fight back. The elder dragon treats you with disdain. Who disdain? It suddenly beats you out of its territory. Find your own lair, turtles. Despite the advantage, it seems that the homeless have a rather uh, severe downside. After all, you have nowhere else to store your chord. A few days later, as you fly along, you see a large hill rising from the land around it. Forests cover the lower slopes of the hill, giving away to grassy fields and a rocky crag. The top of the hill, a large cave mouth open to the Promuta Tika Ishada. Not a clue, not saying that. Gonna mispronounce it. While you have to check it out more carefully to be certain, you believe that the hill contains a very expensive cave complex. Plenty of game runs through the forest where herds of sheep and even cattle in some of the valleys a short flight away. Looking behind the immense environs. Do they mean environments? Hmm. I know it's not Minecraft or anything where the environments are boom, boom. Wait, are those environments? No, those are biomes. Forget what I just said there. Several human villages and towns are well within a day's flight, offering the promise of easy pillaging to come. But none are close enough to make harassments and annoyances lightly, likely. In short, it appears to be a perfect lair for you. Next. I said next. As you fly down 
Oh, wait a minute. We're gonna have to cut this one short, my lads. Until next time, my warriors. Until next time.